is a really simple starch test for iodine. Um, I have uh, stone mill iodized table salt. This is presumably Himalayan pig salt. It comes from uh, Walmart. And I'm actually a little concerned because you'll see in the experiment here, um, iodine in the presence of uh, salt turns a very deep violet purple. Um, the reason I'm concerned is I don't think there's any iodine in this uh, pink Himalayan salt. We're going to um, uh, add just a little bit of... Uh, uh, this is actually, like, my hand is calibrated, so we're adding a tablespoon of um, uh, peroxide and then also a tablespoon of uh, vinegar using my calibrated hand. It, it, honestly, it doesn't matter. Ooh, that was a little bit much, but, but you'll be able to see when I add the... Um, and also, we're going to add just a little bit of water here. We want enough. You know what? We're not even going to add water to it. Excess vinegar won't be a problem. But, but what we're going to see here is that when I add... This is um, a dilute solution of uh, starch. It's already mixed up. When I add this, this is going to turn a very deep purple, indicating the presence of iodine. And we aren't going to get anything out of this. Uh, I'm going to add a little more salt. because it, it looks like we don't have enough there, maybe. I don't know. <clears throat> but let's do it. OK, so deep purple. Can you see that? And that, that should easily be seen. And as I swish it around, that has iodine in it. This, do you see that? Same thing. Also, I added a little too much vinegar to that. What we're going to do here in a second is, I just want to show that the solution is actually working. And here's what it does in the presence of iodine. Oh, that's not good. Do you see that? If we have iodine there, it turns purple. So that's it, folks. I just wanted to show you no iodine in Himalayan pig salt and plenty of iodine in iodized table salt. Not surprising. That's it. Thanks.